Hey guys, we've got the bike here at Conti's Bike Shop. Chris and his uh, friend, uh, or associate, what's your name? Uh, Tannen. Pardon? Tannen. Tannen? Yes, sir. Uh, they are getting ready to put it together. It's going to take a couple hours still, but I'm pretty excited. Oh, let me go into my, there we go. Now you might recognize me with the hat on backwards. So here we go. Let's go ahead and flip and see. Oh, I can't flip it. I'll be right back. Here we are. Here's the, the bike frame and all the parts. It looks like a mess, but they'll get it put together. Hey, Chris. Thank you very much for getting the bike and putting no it together. Uh, and Tannen, thank you very much for the help. I got uh, some new parts for it today. It's, they're called the Versa Bars. I just got here right before I came up which is pretty fortuitous because then they can just install it right away and I can get a couple of uh, water bottles. So the next time you see this video, I will be testing the bike most likely. I'm really anxious and uh, well, we'll see you then. Guys, well, we've got some bad news. The Versa bars from TerraTrike do not work with uh, with the Sunseeker T3CX. Uh, where it mounts, it's not um, the the Versa bike is too narrow to fit on the handlebars, and instead of going up like this and then out like that, it has to go up like this and straight up, and that's not gonna cut it so we're gonna have to find some other stand assist solution um, or talk to TerraTrike and see if there's anything we can do to um, to alleviate the situation I might look at the HB tel um, Velotechnic uh, stand assist that um, work with the Scorpion but we'll have to find out about that um, the bike is uh, continually being put together this just means that I've lost two mounting points for water bottles and for other gear, but um, in the scheme of things, it should be all right. Uh, you can see Chris back there, and they're working on other bikes too, so I'm not the only one. Uh, I am told, however, that we will get the, the maiden voyage, maiden ride done today. Um, it shouldn't be too much longer, probably about another hour and a half maybe. To get the bike put together. That's in some pretty good shape so far. Uh, the horn is really loud and you'll hear that when the, I test it after we get it all mounted on the bike. So it's going to be, be pretty interesting to see how things all put work together. I thought there was a water, model bo uh, water bottle mount on the bottom of the bike, but unfortunately there is not. So the compressed air container for the horn will have to be mounted another way. It comes with hook and loop slash velcro if you want to call it that. And uh, that may work just fine. We'll have to see when we get there. Okay, back to uh, the build. Chris is getting the uh, mesh seat put on. It wasn't as easy as they make it look like on other videos. Just a warning, I'm recording. You can swear and stuff if you need to. Because music and stuff are going to be going around this. It'll be time-lapsed, interspersed with photos. The X seam has actually been measured, and the seat and the pedals are actually in the right place. Now we just need to get everything tightened up, chain on, and other stuff. <laughs> Little adjustments here and there. And uh, we're going to have to change where the handlebars are because when I sat down, one goosed me. Or that's maybe just me being clumsy. We'll find out. And now the chain is going in. The tubes were not really all that happy um, to put the chain through. So um, there's actually ways to take care of that. A 
another cool thing about trikes is if you're holding a camera you can use it as a um, a gamble or whatever you can uh, do panning shots and stuff like that super steady <laughs> cool. you can't do that on a bike no not too easy That didn't sound good. Shifted again. It's got a touchy system. I wonder if I can trade them out. I just these are verbal notes. Oh, look at that steering. Got a pretty good steering going on. Got to turn the bike sideways to get it through a door. Front first. There we go. I need to know this for the future. Did it work? Having issues with the left disc brake. Uh, apparently the quality of the brakes, the calipers anyway, um, aren't up to super snuff. So I might have to get some new disc brakes later on, a bit higher quality. Adjustments. Putting the fenders on and all the other accessories. So it's <laughs> been almost six hours of putting this thing together. Uh, pain in the butt. Um, we'll talk about it. I'll get Chris on the on the camera and we can talk about the challenges he, he came across putting this thing together. Uh, but for the most part, it's, it's getting very, very close to finished and uh, I'll be driving out of here with it today because <laughs> I'll put it back in my car and drive off. Okay, so I'll let these guys get back to uh, putting on the last bits and pieces and um, we'll get the, the maiden voyage recorded a little bit later. All right.